welcome back to another electric guitar vlog. If you missed my very first vlog in this series, <laughs> basically what happened is I shared my honest and true struggles on the electric guitar. All right, let's see what we can do on this thing. I don't like that. Let's go classic maybe. Guys, I don't really know what I'm doing. Metal? Ooh. Acoustic, I'm so used to. I've been playing for years. But when it comes to electric, this is a completely different animal for me. Um, mainly the issues that I'm having is just making sure that I just mute strings that I'm not playing. Also playing a lot of singular notes because I'm used to playing a lot of chords and I'm used to strumming and doing a little bit of finger picking. And basically I just wanna expand my skills on the guitar. I feel like even though I've mastered my main guitar goals, what I had initially set out for myself, there's still so much more that I would love to learn and love to do and I think that's what's so amazing about this instrument is that there's literally so many different avenues that you could go. So I'm just gonna play on clean today. Uh, something that I've been working on is Closing Time by Semisonic. I actually filmed an acoustic easy tutorial for that song but now I want to work on playing it on electric guitar. Also, I need to work on, I know I need to work on my right hand here and work on just like how I hold my pick and, you know, my wrist because I'm a strummer. I come from acoustic guitar and I'm so used to this and I really need to get more so used to this. The power chord's not an issue for me. I mean, I can play full bar chords on acoustic guitar and the action on the strings is a lot higher on acoustic. So really, this is not an issue for me. It's really just this hand right here. So I know I need to keep it pretty much by the bridge and so yeah I want to learn all the like the little tidbits like the piano parts and like the bridge solo and all of that so that's something I'm going to be working on so real quick I want to just shut this off so I don't keep making random noises before I get into my practice session here I just wanted to take a moment to just Thank you guys for the support and the encouragement on my very first electric guitar video. I had no idea it was going to get as big as it did and I got a lot of interesting feedback. But I just wanna thank everybody who was super supportive and encouraging and who left awesome constructive criticism in a very positive way. There were so many of you that did that and it, I felt like that video was received really well and it was just, embraced. For me, I feel like a few years ago putting out a video like that would have been such a scary thing, but I just knew at this point I wanted to be able to document my progression learning the electric guitar, but I also wanted to inspire and motivate anybody else that felt like they were struggling and just kind of didn't know where to go. I know that it can be really hard when you're stuck and you're unmotivated and I feel as if I'm doing my job if I show that I struggle too. I feel as an instructor here on YouTube, you know, I here's the thing, there's like this stigma that I have to be perfect and that I have to know everything and I don't, I don't know everything. I don't know how to play every style of guitar and that's okay. And I feel like in the song tutorials that I teach, it's very easy for me to come off very fluent and very, uh, perfect maybe at times. I wouldn't say perfect, but just kind of almost unflawed. And there's a lot of practice that goes behind those videos that you guys don't even get to see. And as much as I know that you guys enjoy those tutorials and have fun learning with them, I also feel like sometimes maybe you can't relate because maybe you're struggling and you just see me well rehearsed teaching you guys the song. I could have just totally learned electric guitar on the side, behind the scenes, not said a word, and then in the future just come out with a video just like shredding it up or whatever and you guys will be like, oh my gosh, she probably knew how to do that all along. And I don't want you guys to think that. I don't want you guys to think that I know how to play everything. I want you guys to be able 
to relate because I see in the comments all the time where people are like, oh, she's so great at guitar, she can play guitar, I can't do it, I will never be able to play like her. I want to show that like, <gasps> I'm struggling right now. I'm totally struggling right now and I want you guys to know that it takes real work to get from point A to point B. And that's what this series is literally about. It's for me to document my progression and my experience, but it's also for you to be able to see that it takes time, that it takes dedication, that it takes a lot of hard work and determination and consistency. And you guys are gonna see mistakes. You guys are gonna see a lot of mistakes. But you guys are also going to see my successes and my triumphs and my progression. And I think that's gonna be really helpful to so many of you out there. This was a comment that I had pinned on that first electric guitar video from Jason. He said, I love that someone who uploads tutorials is prepared to publicly show learning guitar themselves. Massive thumbs up to you, Gigi. Keep it up. I'm keen to see your progress. Best of luck. And I just thought that was so supportive and encouraging and he just totally got it. He got it. And then I just saw so many other comments from you guys saying that it inspired you to want to pick up the electric guitar or some of you already have an electric guitar but you would just felt kind of unmotivated and you were struggling and now that I'm doing this series you feel motivated to pick it back up again. And I'm not gonna lie there were definitely some negative comments on that video but you know what? When I look at all the positive ones and I look at all the people that were motivated and inspired from that video, I just, I thought to myself, I'm doing my job as a teacher. I'm doing my job as a guitar teacher. I'm motivating and inspiring other students to pick back up their guitars and to work harder. And that to me is everything. Also, another really amazing thing that came out of that video was that another fellow YouTube guitar teacher actually personally reached out to me over email. Um, his name's Andy. He's from Andy Guitar. He sent me his beginner electric guitar course and he sent me his lead electric guitar course. And I just, I couldn't believe it. I thought that was just so amazingly supportive. Like reached out to me and was like, hey, I want to help you out. I really love what you're doing. I think it's amazing that you're inspiring and motivating people. And he just sent me this lovely email and he was like, I just wanted to give these to you because I feel like they could help you out. He said he didn't expect anything in return, any plugs or anything, but I wanted to mention him because I am gonna be using his course to learn guitar and I'm really excited. Also, it just shows how amazing the YouTube guitar teaching community truly is and how inclusive it is and, and supportive. So Andy, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. I'm so excited to get started. I read every single comment on that video and I came up with a list of five main techniques that I need to work on. So based on all of your feedback, so we have power chords, alternate picking, pentatonic scales, wrist hand formation, and muting strings. So alternate picking is the next thing I wanna to touch on. There's this really easy riff uh, from a song called Cake by the Ocean by DNCE. Um, it's pretty much like a pop song. And it, but it has a really cool electric guitar riff and it's allowed me to work on my alternate picking. So I'm gonna try to warm up into it here because I don't know if I remember it. I gotta mute these strings right here. So the E and A strings. I'm just kind of taking my time and breaking it down a lot slower. Sloppy. Another 
Another exercise I've been doing to combine with the alternate picking is like a one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one exercise, but alternate picking it, so. Take it really slow. is starting to kind of hurt a little bit from that because it's so spread out you know and I'm not it's something I'm not used to how is my form by the way I have like this part of my palm resting like right above the strings and I heard you're supposed to kind of make a fist a little bit too something I'm not used to I'm used to having kind of my fingers just kind of splayed out when I do acoustic like that so I'm just trying to get used to the whole fist thing, you know? I definitely want to practice this exercise with a metronome. I'm going to see if I can find one on YouTube here. Let's start it at 40 BPM. I don't know if that's too fast. I hop, all you can eat pancakes. I hop, pancakes. pancakes aren't that good. Okay, we can do that. 40 BPM. Okay. too fast. Let's try 50 beats per minute. Ah, I dropped my pick. Ah. Okay, we're gonna go back to 40 BPM. I think I just need to be patient and slow it down. But yeah, I got the... See, but I gotta watch the strings though. It's hard because you get feedback from yeah. other strings. Yeah, two, let's back up again. So you need to do that, do that thing, and you just keep keep that thing going, and you go, and then you hear that track going, you go ding, ding, ding. Da, 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 da. It's like, t yeah. it's a couple of strings, like. <laughs> no, maybe sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It's the same thing. Da, 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 da. So it's da. This is the first thing you do. I got it. Go ahead. There you go. Yeah, and then it changes, but the yeah. main one. Yeah. Yeah. 
somebody else plays that. Or you have a track playing that. There's, well, there's a guitarist, then there's a, the piano's the lead. The piano's the part that goes. Oh, it's guitar. No, it's piano. Da, na, na. Yeah, it's piano. That. So you just put that little blurb in there. I know, that's, that's awesome. That's what you need because it gives you the rhythm. Yeah. Get my wrist to rest for a second. Here we go. He just came in here and he's just so supportive like he is so excited for me to learn how to play closing time all the way a lot of you guys were actually commenting that I should get Rocksmith 2014 I'm one step ahead of you guys my dad has been asking me to set this up for like probably the past two weeks now he's like when are you gonna set up Rocksmith when are you gonna set it up but I wanted to get into some basic fundamentals first. And let me know if you guys want to see any Rocksmith videos. I feel like this would be so much fun because this is going to be a way for me to practice guitar. So if you guys want to see some videos of my dad and I playing Rocksmith together, just let me know down below in the comments because he's super excited about this. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm super excited about this too. It's just like an awesome way for us to bond over something. My dad's just awesome. He's just like cheering me on. He's like, you should learn this song. You should learn this riff in this song. He just keeps making awesome suggestions and he's he's a huge supporter. So give it up for my dad. So this is going to be where I end the vlog today. I know I talked quite a bit in this one, but I just had so much that I just wanted to say. I am just so appreciative of all of your encouragement and support and I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, but. In the future, it'll definitely be more practicing and more playing than me just gabbing on and on and on. But again, thank you so much for your support and I will see you guys in the next vlog or in my next video, actually, in my next, yeah. <laughs>